Hi, bro. ChatGPT is absolutely exploding. Now, me, I'm a sneaker reseller, right? If you've been listening to me, you hear me talk about using ChatGPT, using AI to accelerate what we're already doing. And so, what I did, I used ChatGPT and its power of teaching to learn a code and learn script that'll really help me in my sneaker reselling journey. So, let's jump right on the computer. All right, so we're on the computer and we are on ChatGPT right now. And boom. If you're not familiar with this program, I have other videos explaining it, but it's pretty simple. You can come here and literally ask it anything. Um, what, what is eBay, right? And it's gonna tell us exactly what eBay is. Boom, and so right here it tells us, eBay is an online marketplace where individuals and businesses can buy and sell a wide variety of goods and services worldwide. It was founded in 1995 and is now one of the world's largest online marketplaces. Users can bid on items to purchase them at fixed price. It's a platform that allows people to buy and sell almost everything. Now, why is that important for our sneaker resellers? Well, because outside of StockX, who takes an arm and a leg for fees, outside of goat who doesn't take an arm and a leg but still takes a lot you got ebay which does have fees but in my opinion that's the most sneaker reseller friendly platform uh that we got going for us right now so right we're gonna come over here to ebay right and we're gonna and when you go to ebay what you in the previous video i used a tool called zeke analytics that pretty much let me know that the lost and found jordan one and the panda dunks are the two most highest selling shoes what that tells me as a sneaker reseller is i need to focus on that shoe however a lot of time people ask me like how much should i sell my shoes for and i always tell them to do this process right i tell them to search the shoe which is going to be the panda dunk right and then i tell them to scroll over here to the bottom hit see all and hit sold items and then apply right and then that what that's going to do is show you what sold right not what's being listed here's just a little sauce i know this video is about chat gpt and just ai however if you're flipping if you're flipping anything right and you're looking on ebay to see how much that goes for then a lot of the times what's happening is is that you're looking at listings that people who aren't selling anything right you want to look at the people who have sold stuff right so what you do is come to filter by sold and then it'll kind of show you right now here's where chat gpt comes in because boom to save us time to accelerate us to make us superhuman like ai is gonna do um we can write a script like we could have chat gpt write us a script right and so i like to get real detailed right and and so i'm gonna ask it what are the steps to write a script a python script that crawls a site Right, we're not gonna tell it eBay because ChatGPT is real politically correct, and I personally feel like sometimes that affects how sincere it is with us, right? So if it if it thinks something is illegal, if it thinks it's unethical, then it's gonna do its best not to help you, pretty much. All right, and so now it's kind of listed out the steps for us. It says import the necessary library, such as request and beautiful soup. Make a request to the website using the request library and retrieve the HTML content of the website. Use beautiful soup to parse the HTML content and extract the data you want. And then use Python's built-in data structures, lists, list dictionaries to store the extracted data. Use list conditional statements, all that code talk, right? So, so first they put us on the right track with chat GPT. Now, what I'm gonna say is, okay, boom. Remember I told y'all I like to use the pound sign. I literally seen that from a Python coach. It, I don't think it really matters much. That's just something I like to use. Boom, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the web page I wanna crawl because it pretty much told us it needs to know everything about this script. So I'm gonna come over to this website and I'm I wanna find the price, right? And boom, it says spend class positive, right? Okay, so that seems pretty solid. Let's see if these are these say positive. Those say positive, so we can't use that. So I need something unique about these classes. So I will say, boom, there it is. S item price. That's the that's the class right there. Boom. So I'm gonna be very detailed about how I asked Chat GPT to do this. I'm gonna say, can you write me? Ooh, I spelled my mom's last name instead of can you write me a script that allows that scrapes this link. Wait, no, no, no. 
I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put some spaces and say with the class. And I know this could be confusing, but what I'm doing is I don't wanna lose that copy and paste, right? So I'm gonna come paste this link. I'm gonna put it here, scrapes this link with Python and Beautiful Soup. And then I'm gonna say, can you take all elements with the class and print out the results and can you write the code to do an average of all the numbers grab and then let's see what it does all right and so now it gave us this code and so we're going to copy this code in and we're going to come over here to visual code studio and pretty much like i explained and if you if you your first time watching me pretty much script websites code all that like just like you have folders on your desktop folders um on your computer that's all a website is that's all script is it's just a folder structure right so you're just gonna come over here to new folder we're gonna call this youtube ebay and don't mind that that's some youtube automation stuff that i am gonna teach y'all about here pretty soon but we're just gonna make a new file right we're gonna make a new file and it's gonna be python right and we're gonna paste that code in we're gonna save it right we're gonna save this somewhere we're gonna save that right in that folder that we just made right here in that folder and then boom we're gonna hit save right and then we're gonna run this to see what it does and it gave us an error right so once again that just once again shows where chat gpt is still learning is still not perfect but here's the here's the beauty of it right most of us would be stuck and then that's it because you got to know a lot of code to even know what this means but this is gonna tell me exactly what it is tell me what's wrong all right and it gave me this updated script so now i'm about to run it just take it over here paste it in hit save and run that script and see what it does it gives me another error so we just gonna come back here and debug basically say replace that price values thing which i think that's what it just did because chat gpt is hung up on that can you not convert it to price and just run the numbers how they are because it's hung up on converting it to a price and we know what those numbers mean so we just gonna go ahead and just be more specific with what we're telling it to do what'll happen if i take that out myself i'm gonna take this line of code out myself and test it while jack chat gpt is fixing itself because okay and let's try to run that code it doesn't i ain't gonna lie it don't look correct to me because it still look like it's trying to say price values don't exist it's running and then boom there it is it's telling me it's showing me all the prices that the panda dunks went for um today right and every time i run this if i run this tomorrow it's gonna update you know what i'm saying it's gonna be different it's gonna be it's gonna be different right and so let me see let me see just for fun if i can go in and can can you can you can you add in a line that allows me to get a average of all the numbers rendered except the ones with the word two in them right because some of them say boom some of them say 180 something to this or whatever so i wanted to take those out all right and let's test this code out all right so all right, so, all right, so we opened chat GPT. We made it tell us how we're gonna do this. Then we went ahead and followed the steps. We went through a little turbulence, right? We debugged it, but chat GPT got us up and running and we just built a bot that was, at, and we just built a bot that's able to comb eBay. All right, man, I got another video about using chat GPT to make a sneaker bot. Man, meet me over in that video, man. Rico gang, let's get it. Hey, what up, man? You tired of missing out? You tired of not hitting on Saturday mornings? Check the link in my description. I made an all-intensive guide that lets you in on all the sneakers of the resale, that lets you in on all the secrets of the resale game. Meet me on that. Man, hit the link in the description. I love y'all. Let's get it.